One day, I was babysitting my seven-year-old sister, and we were bored. I decided to pull up my set of Anki Overdrive, a racing game that I had gotten a few years ago, but hadn't really touched since. Immediately after we started playing, I was impressed by the game's ability to retain simplicity while still managing to be incredibly fun and entertaining. Hey guys, it's Sam from The Echo here, and in this video I'm going to be testing out a new game called Anki Overdrive that's all about racing cars. Getting started and set up to play the game is pretty easy. You simply need the starter kit, which contains these magnetic track pieces, which you use to build your track, as well as cars, which obviously are used to race in the game. Setting up the track is very simple. You simply lay out the pieces, and then they'll click into each other like that. And you just lay them out all around to create one big track. Setting up the game is also very easy. Simply choose which mode you're going to play, in this case single player. And then select the vehicles that you'll be using. Then, once you already put your cars on the starting line, and they'll scan the track that you've just built. And after they're done scanning, you'll be all ready to race. The controls of the game are simple. You simply slide up on the pedal to make your car go faster, and you can tilt your phone to make your car change lanes, making it easier to make sharp turns and gain time on your opponent. The goal is to complete a certain amount of laps, which you can see at the top of the screen, faster than your opponent, and you can see what place you're in as well. So you can see I'm in first place, and the goal is to complete 15 laps. Overall, I had a good time playing Anki Overdrive. I enjoyed that the game was very simple and easy to set up, as it only took 5-10 to 10 minutes for it to be completely ready. It was also very simple to control and very easy to understand, so all players could figure out how to play it very easily. However, it does require a device with the Anki Overdrive, Overdrive app for each player wanting to play it if you want to play multiplayer, and at least one if you want to play single player, and you also have to buy the starter set, which since Anki is no longer in business, you'll have to buy off the secondary market. After a little bit of research, I found some going in the range of $50 to $60. You can also purchase other cars and more tracks to enhance and diversify your gameplay. I definitely re recommend Anki Overdrive to anyone wanting to find a fun activity to do with their siblings when bored at home.